It's begun. It's begun. Then you open the door. Wow, my wow, <laughs> we're right back in it. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um I open the door. Uh, uh, how tall is he? Uh, I think I said like mid seven feet. Oh my lord! I have to double check. Shoshen, your heart out. Yeah, El the Shoshen. Let me double check. I think. <laughs> Let's see. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, I have seven five here. Jesus Christ! I need a bigger door frame. <laughs> I'll um. <laughs> Ned. I'll, I'll open up the door a little more. Um, you know, it's like when somebody has like a bunch of their like friends they know super well crowding around them. <laughs> mm-hmm. And you're like, their dad or something. <laughs> <laughs> um i mean less like that because i guess well anyway, anyways um yeah i'll close the door behind me oh my god i love this little oh man god. uh continue <laughs> uh i'll open the yeah i'll open and close the door and kind of step out what time is it around um it's like 5 p.m okay uh are they all like they're, they're all talking right uh yeah they're uh i'd say about eight feet away from your door okay uh gather around talking uh the three faces that you don't know seem to be like more listening uh and bulwark seems to be uh talking to Hayes, and you catch like the tail end of what they're saying uh, as Bulwark goes, yeah, uh, we're set up a couple hours away uh, in this little ravine. Uh, there's a few of us there. Uh, I don't. I, did, did you ever meet Spectre? I, I don't think so. Um, but uh, Burst is there. Um, there's a, a few other guys there. there. There's some young ones I don't think you know. Most interesting. Havoc is with us. Uh, and Hayes is like kind of quiet for a moment, uh, and then says, "I'm uh, where I know we spoke briefly." Wait, what? They spoke. Wait, Havoc and Hayes. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> uh. But I'll just kind of, like, listen to their conversation, sit off to the side for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just, like, leaning against the house. Just kind uh, of watching and listening. Yeah, uh, well, work goes, where have you been? Like, <laughs> I, I mean, you, you know, I wasn't there when everything went down, but I, I heard it was, I heard it was crazy. Like, like it, apparently people died and shit, and then nobody could find you afterwards? I, what happened? <laughs> I apologize, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I take drink. Hell yeah. Yeah, make me RP with myself, my god. <laughs> um, Hayes kind of shifts a bit awkwardly. Well, I, I can't remember, I... I thought about making him Russian. I can't. Did I make him Russian when he spoke to you no. in session or not? Okay. Well, um, it is a long and complicated story. In all honesty, uh, I'd rather not get a, into it right now. There's kind of a lot I have to. He kind of like flicks his eyes up while he's like, he's you know doing the the awkward feet shift thing you've seen him do. A thousand times, like starting to hunch his shoulders a bit, uh, and then he spies you and like straightens up a little bit, <laughs> As, <laughs> and like begins to like step no. forward through through the others, like ignoring them now. What did he call me? 
He like uh, stumbled a bit when saying Esmond, uh, oh. just because he started laughing and was like, started oh, to like, shyly. He's starting to like shyly lift his hands for a hug. <laughs> yeah, Esmond goes like immediately like smiling and his mood from before <sighs> like kind of forgotten for a moment. Mm-hmm. As he just like he tr- he like <laughs> he hugs Powell quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, so like he goes in for a hug and is kind of like in the wrong position and he's like trying to like figure out like where to because he's usually the taller one in hugs yeah <laughs> so he's just kind of like uh, do you want to like pick me up or some I don't know how you want to do okay he's he's not responding he just goes down he puts his arms under your arms around your waist and he's like kind of curled over you as he hugs you to ta- to not like make you. To not like lift you up, but there is a bit of lift. Like you're on your tiptoes. <laughs> Just kind of like play like, hey. <laughs> uh, like pat his back, <laughs> and like kind of laugh a little bit. You got a lot taller. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't get smaller? Uh, probably. I'm getting old. At least that's what Powell says. Powell. You know Powell. You know about now, Powell. now, now is this is this Wilder forgetting that you let them know about Powell? Uh, I hadn't thought. I thought you only let Gabriel know. I let Gabriel know, but I figured that he would have told uh, Hayes. Unless mm-hmm. Gabriel also suffers from the same condition <laughs> that Esmond does, which is chronic forgetfulness. <laughs> uh, hmm. He still looks confused. Powell. I wrote that Powell. about him. Pow like this my that... son? Are we speaking figuratively? Is this about the cat? I have a chat you got. You think I have a cat? That's that's what Dad said. D- Dad said I got a cat <laughs> about my son? <laughs> I, I think that I'm missing something here. You know what just a, is? A, a, a couple years ago, he just said that you got, like, a, a little cat to keep you company. Like a, like a child. Like a baby. Do you know what a tabaxi is, Hayes? I, I do know what a tabaxi is. I just... Dad had said you got a little cat, and I just assumed, you know, a, a, a pet. I assumed you got a pet. That's, a child. That is so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> you have a child. Why would have come sooner if I knew you had a child? What, I, you, when, why would you have come sooner if you knew you had a child? Do you take care, he, he like, do you take he care like of children? Of steps, he steps back for a moment to take you in. Look pretty good for, you know. Yeah. I, you, you know that's <laughs> not what happened. How do I know? A whole, whole sorts of crazy shit happens. Are... This is... Not, we're not a, we can have this conversation if you want, but I don't really want to have this I'm conversation. Just, I'm... There's kind of like a cleared throat behind you guys, uh, and Hayes glances back uh, to see like Bulwark and the other faceless. Um, I assume. Right. Um, I assume you all have a uh, official business uh, with me. Where's you? And he like does like a double take. You? Me? What? Yes. Why, why, why are you weird about this? I don't know. Why are you all, all, I knew, all, all I know is that you were living somewhere new. Boy, I, this is, this place, this is where I live. Yeah? I don't know if you've heard, little brother, but I'm a Margrave, baby. Putting aside the fact that I don't know what that means. Okay. All Dad said was that you helped start a town. I, I, I just... I did help. So, I was I was the, the, the catalyst, the propagator. But you're, like, in charge of charge. Uh, kind of. A little bit. Maya's also in charge. God. She's another kind of cat person. Bigger cat. Can't believe I'm associating with the government. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking <laughs> about? <joke> <laughs> The joke line. <laughs> <laughs> Sh- 
out. I made my soul like leave my body. I had to grab it and shove it back inside. <laughs> Shout out. Shout out to the dearly beloved. <laughs> Gone but not forgotten. I'm truly, truly. <sighs> Only because of this deep <laughs> It's terrible. Uh, um, but he like kind of holds your shoulders with both hands, which are very large. It, I'm sure, like when when you first knew Hayes, there was already like some size difference. But he was he was malnourished, had been through a rough time. He was very shy, didn't really touch people unless people touched him. And now he is huge, and like over you, like, above and bigger than you in all sense of, senses of the word. It's, yes. it, I'm sure it's a little bit overwhelming, but not in, like, a bad way, just in a, uh, 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 uh. My brother, not so little. <laughs> uh, and he gives your shoulders, like, a very gentle squeeze. I... It, you you take care of this first. Um, I'm... I'll... Set my, is this your house? This is my house. You can live here if you want. Wow. For now, because everybody else who lives here is like gone and fucked off. Moving up in the world. When are you making dad's retirement home? Damn. Um, whenever dad decides he's going to retire instead of dying out trying to find a bunch of children. Well, you know where he is. I'll, I'll leave you guys to this. I'm going to go put my things down. You and then I guess go find your son. You can come in if you want. No, yeah, I can get someone to get Powell. Yeah, sure. Tonight. I've so many things to teach. I have a huge bed frame that I made specifically for a very tall woman, but now you're here and she's not. <laughs> it was gonna work out great. Did, did people die? No, they're at a wedding. Oh. Fudge Ramoni. Get aside. Bulwark! Uh, right. Yeah. Hey, uh. What? What? She like kind of gestures between you and Hayes, who is trying to fit through the bed frame right now. The, Not the, the bed frame, frame, the door frame. <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk. As much as like, oh, you're my little brother. You're little. I'm. I'm not gonna get into it. Uh, so these are, uh, and she kind of like brings forward, uh, the three. So, uh, these are the ones who said they were interested, um, and she, like, goes through introducing, uh, you to the three of them, which we can always get to later, partly because I haven't named them. Um, <laughs> but she introduces you to the three of them. I'm sure you guys spend a couple minutes of you being like, yeah, here's where you can stay, uh, here's who you can talk to about, like, getting food and whatnot, like, like you know, doing... The important organization things. Yeah. Uh, and Bulwark eventually sends them off on their way to start doing these things. Uh, and she turns to you. Right. Um. I'll leave you guys to it. I, I guess. I. Is that why there's like that weird energy between you and Havoc because you're the older brother of, you know, her ex. Her ex? That's uh, complicated. I didn't think 12-year-old dated much. Uh, you know little kids. Oh, that's really They funny. get attached quick. It's, well, I guess trauma bonding is intense. Uh, dating is a, a strong word. We, like, in... As as adults, we we joked that they were you know like dating, but I, I wouldn't really have called that that in the moment. Mostly because I didn't know what that was. But anyways, oh right. yeah, that's not why I think it was weird. I think it was weird just because mostly we want to kill each other. Right. In like a pacifist I'm... way. Yeah. Yeah. There's something, and I'm not gonna get into it. Yeah, thanks a, for bringing the kids around. Yeah, have a have a good night. Me yeah, too. Collapse your shoulder and then steps on the little teleportation circle. <laughs> Esmin like rubs his shoulder. <laughs> I'm you hear like a, a thump and turn back around to see 
uh, he is having slightly dressed down. At least he seems to have gotten out of, like, traveling clothes uh, and taken off his cloak uh, and struggling for a brief moment to figure out the best way to fit through your door frame. Do you want uh, to make come it out again. bigger? Oh, no, no. Because I... I can just move the beam up, like, a few inches and then widen it. Not a priority. Right. I, I can always take care of it. Dad taught me some, you know, carpentry. Right, yeah, I was there. So. Aha, uh -huh. <clears throat> right. Um. This is your place? Armath. Armath. Ar Armath. Ar right. Armath. So it's the accent. <laughs> you, you okay? Me? He, like, steps, he, like, steps into your space and, like, kind of turns you side to side. Oh my god. very, like, handling of me. You've got, like, uh, and he, like, rubs a thumb over, like, a spot on your cheek where you know there's, like, a, a small scar from, like, some of the recent fights that's still kind of, like, healing completely. What, what have you, what have you been getting into? What have you been getting into? What kind of protein have I been giving you? Fuck. Not important. Right. Are, are you okay? You look... Yeah, fuck, you look tired. I... Did you not get the letter, Hayes? What letter? I sent a letter to Hat. Does Dad just not tell you anything with the letters, like, point for point? I'm not usually with Dad. What? I, I, haven't, I haven't been with Dad in months. Months? Yeah. Where have you... Where have you... Been then? Why were you in hiding? What? <laughs> what are you talking about hiding? I've been traveling. I've been doing jobs, uh, trying to you know strike out on my own. Not like you did. Dad said that you two were in hiding, running from the Iron Conscription. I mean, I've been avoiding them. I don't know about if I would use hiding. That's a strong word. I don't. He's just been back on the farm. No, he hasn't. What are you talking about? I sent a message to him, and he's... I'm fairly certain on a different fucking plane. What? Like... Like one of those magical places, or...? Like a fair while or some shit, I don't know. I didn't pay attention to any of that. I know. Uh, no, he he sent me a letter just the other day uh, saying that he was having harvest soon and asking if I wanted to pick anything up. Does this line up with what I know? You tell me. This is weird. What the fuck? This is weird! <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was... I left the farm like four, four and a half months ago. Uh, things were fine You've when I left. You've been there the entire time. As far as I know, he's sent me letters every couple weeks. Okay. I think he was nervous because I was by myself. Yeah, I would also be nervous if you were by yourself. But evidently you're fine. I guess I need to Yeah, it was, you it was kind of... You know, un uneventful in all honesty. Right, that's... Does Dad have... Did Dad have somebody else living at the house? I don't think anyone else knows where we live. You know, Dad's always been really secretive about not letting people come by the farm. I know, but... It's just... Weird. It's not important, I'm just... I'll talk to him later about it. It doesn't make sense. I feel like he's not being forthright with me about a lot of things. In what sense? God, my God. Recently, <laughs> I had a bit of a... Stop it! <laughs> Hold on, sorry. He's ripping up my blinds. Hold Stop him. It, you. Hold him. Put him in a straitjacket. I'm closing my window. I know you like it open, but you're being a demon. Stop. 
Sorry, continue. <laughs> Recently, we had a bit of a tussle, let's call it, with the Iron yeah. Conscription. Uh, I don't That's... know if... Oh, go ahead. I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Darcy fucking... What was his last name? What was his last name? Shit. Are you saying real life? We don't know what his last uh, name was? I or... forget. Merkstone. Merkstone. <laughs> I think that was it. Merkstone? Captain? Merk Sergeant? I don't remember. Don't. I don't know anyone by that name. Though. Right, well, he wanted uh, to kill me dead and maybe put a other other people in the ground, and now we have graves outside because they did manage to do that, and Havoc was also a pain in the ass about it, but now we're friends Why? or something. Huh? Why didn't you call me sooner? Uh, I thought I could handle it, and evidently I did. I think you did, and I'm very glad of that, and you you don't look well, but you're alive at least, so that's something. I'm doing fine, Hayes. I, I, I know. I don't mean that to come across like... <laughs> he, he seems to, like, struggle with words for a moment, which he always has, but... I don't... I, I'm not trying to put down what you, you've done. You've clearly done good. I just... I, I just would wish I could have been there to, you know, help. Who knows if it would have changed the situation much, but I... I'd, I'd feel better knowing that I was at least, you know, there. It's not something that I would have wanted to put on you regardless. <laughs> Talk that has not about putting things on me. It's always about putting things on you. Well, it's not no. always about putting things on you. You know what I mean? It's like you're small, not really you're quite <laughs> large. Uh, but I'm, I'm an I'm an adult. I know. Esmond. It's weird. And he like he puts puts a hand on your shoulder again. Yeah. And I I've dealt. With the conscription before, I've dealt with that. All that bullshit and combat and battles, and that's not to put down your own skill with those things. I don't my, have any... My... Hey, we both know I don't have any skill with either of those things. God damn, Chimshar. He's <laughs> a sweet boy. This is what I put up with. <laughs> you can't normally tell on the computer because I try to mess up my sensitivity. But... <laughs> but my concern for you I'd, I'd be concerned whether I was right next to you or, and even if I knew you were in a metal box where I knew nothing that was shot at you would hurt you at all oh. I, I just worry and I feel better if I'm there to help so I guess I'm living here now oh, you keep planning to say well, if the conscription's giving you a hard time, is that going to continue, or...? Well, they have fucked off mostly now, and, you know, Havoc's sent some of her folk around to keep watch over Valmath. Well, yeah, what's... what's up with that? What's up with what? We, we, can, we can talk about it later. I don't... I don't really understand why yeah, Havoc, Havox is thing. here. And how yeah, she's your she... ex or something. <laughs> Colloquially. No, sure, whatever. Okay. She was saying something. She said something about, like, she was glad I survived. And she was, like, weird about it. She told me that she had heard a rumor or heard her say or had a theory or something. Or rather that, uh... When you got got, or when you left, were taken, were retrieved, let's call it, from the iron conscription that the entity or something that had freed a lot, a handful of people, most of who were returned, except for you, was hunting you, and they weren't sure if it was to help you or to hurt you. What? What is she talking? What? Do you know what a Desico is, Hayes? 
What? No, I. I've, I've, I've told you. I told you what happened before once. I. Did you know who? Uh, good heist. Have it told me. Point of note. Yeah. Well, I'll get to that in a second. Sure. Out of character. But uh, first, Hayes says, "I, a dad, came into town for some business, something or other. I don't know the de- details. He heard about the fighting ring." You know, he tried to break more kids out, but only managed to get one out. He caught me. I was a bit skittish at first. Uh, but he convinced me that he had somewhere safe that I could, you know, get away from all of this. And and I ran. And I, I've told you this before. Point of note. Hayes has never specifically told you what happened. Just that, like, he escaped with... Uh, Gabriel. He's never told you any specifics. Not that you remember. Do you remember anything else from that night? No. Just a dad, like, they they were transporting me out of the fight pit. Dad, like, snuck in, like, you know, was, was getting a bunch of the kids free from the chain, telling us to run. And I was the only one who got far enough, and Dad, you know, swooped in him with his, his wings and whatnot, and grabbed me, flew out a bit. I, I fought him a little bit, and then he was like, hey, have a farm, get away. At least let me get you far away from here, and if you still want to leave, fine. And then I just kept saying yes and decided that I wanted to stay. Did you really want to stay, though? Horse. It was a safe place to live. It was away from the conscription. I have family. I had brothers. Uh, okay. Is he lying? Roll insight with advantage. And then dirty twenty. He's not lying. He is telling the full truth. He's even telling the truth about having told you all of these details before. I, I, Esmond has a terrible memory. <laughs> you can roll an insight on yourself. Okay. <laughs> With, it's not advantage. It's up to you. I don't know if I'm lying. <laughs> That's 17. What you recall was that Hayes was always extremely cagey about the details and very uncomfortable whenever asked about the details of his escape. He'd talk about his imprisonment and what he went through there and his feelings since coming to you guys, but he would not talk about the escape at all, ever. He was weird about it. And now he's not. Yeah, now he's like, I've told you everything. What do you mean? But he's never told me. As far as you remember, yeah. What the fuck is going on? But he, he is not lying about the fact that he has told you these details. Hayes, you've never told me any of that. I have. We talked about it before. We were, you know, we were sitting on the front porch at the farm. It was like early autumn. It was just getting a little bit cold. Dad was out in the fields. We could see him in the distance kid was inside probably coloring or reading or something like that and we talked about it we had like a heart to heart about it and all I don't remember that I mean you've always been a little little forgetful but even this seems a lot for that I'm sorry that I no no I you okay? It, it did. Have, I mean, you look like you've been through the ringer recently, but. Oh, yeah, yeah I was working up to that. I, I don't really know how to tell you um, the whole because Dad knew, but apparently you 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 didn't know. Um, yeah, Hayes, I um. Yeah, I. Sort of. 
died. A little. This... This doesn't seem like a kind of joke you'd pull, so the only conclusion I can come to is that it's not a joke. You could ask pretty much anyone here, and they would... I can show you the ashes, if you want. Not what the I fuck? Know. It's weird, they could put me in a jar after, it's weird. Fine now, mostly. How... how did you die? What? Uh, this kind of relates back to the Desico thing that I was talking about earlier. Uh, I'm gonna give you the abridged version. Let's go, uh, let's walk. <laughs> I'm gonna walk with him around the, uh, Yeah? You go, Sophie. With, the, like, outer perimeter of Armoth. Mm-hmm. So, Desico, as far as I understand it, are sort of, like, embodiments of concepts, I think. And they are very powerful beings. And they sort of exist amorphously and I, I don't fully understand what they're capable of. I think they're all sort of capable of different things. But there was one that came to us uh, a time ago looking for something seemingly uh, and it apparently didn't like me very much because it uh, put me down pretty aggressively and no one helped her oh there's a young woman named Tori and she very much tried to help, but I, it didn't do me much good. Why? I mean, of, of course, if you're dead, I understand if you couldn't pass that news along. How, how are you back? At... Uh... If, if you died, died, how are you here in front of me? Weird hole in the grounds reconstructed me from pieces of uh, the universe, I think, and plopped my soul back inside. Pretty sure that's how it worked. What, what the fuck? What if... <laughs> yeah, see, it sounds weird saying it all out loud, considering that we used to just take two-day trips down to the blacksmith to get fishing hooks. And that was, like, the extent of our adventures and interesting things that happened in a year. Ah. Uh, a lot has happened, Hayes. Was no one going to tell me, or...? I was... I thought I had figured it happened so... I, it feels like it happened a long time ago. Uh, I thought Dad would have told you. I, I wrote to him to tell you. It was a letter to you and him, but I sent it to him because I figured you were with him, because nobody told me that you weren't with him. No, I... There was one day when Dad was really upset. Um... When was it? I don't... He's kind of like just staring ahead uh, and seems a bit confused and looks back at you. No, that was no one of the one of the sheep died. I'm. When I'm was it, Hayes? Please. Just... Uh, I think it. I think it was a few. It was like a few days before I left. I think. And when did you leave? Like four and a half months ago. That doesn't line up, does it? It's been about four and a half months of the time skip. Fuck me. I don't know why Dad would have killed this, this This thing that killed you, it was one of these weird powerful things you said? Uh, what? 
What does she look like? Like Sandra O, oh, but <laughs> sexier. No, nobody's sexier than Sandra. What am I saying? Uh, do I remember what she looks like? You can describe her to your understanding, yeah. She was um, tall-ish. She um, uh, she had like sort of long, a little bit wavy hair. Uh, I'll, I'll describe what she looks like. Yeah. What I remember her looking like. Still kind of shell shocked that my dad didn't tell my brother I was dead. Mm hmm. Hey is like, is kind of still like looking into the middle distance as you like talk about this, like kind of taking in her moth. And then he almost seems to like mutter to himself. And how did she kill you? She didn't use her gun? Did I tell him she had a gun? No. No? No, you didn't. You don't know what it's. What the fuck is going on, Wilder? <laughs> oh, what? Hmm? Oh, what? I asked how she killed you. You said... Fire... You mentioned a fire on... Just... Just... What? Just now, Hayes. No, I... No. Are you lying I, I, to me? What? What the fuck are you talking about? I. I just asked, how how she killed you? Point of note, Esmond, when you had been describing the desco to him, you only used it and they. Hayes is the first one who said, "What did she look like?" Esmond's like looking at Hayes and he's like breathing so fucking hard. <laughs> and he's he's like glaring. Mm -hmm. I don't think that Hayes has probably ever seen that kind of expression or demeanor in Esmond. Yeah. Except, Hayes looks except for when he's very like taken aback. Except for when he's like when he was uh when people came onto the farm who they didn't know. Mm-hmm. I, as Esmond, are you right? You said, is there? You said you said you said she, and you said gun. I didn't tell you that it was a woman, and I didn't tell you that she had a firearm. That was fucking old relics. I didn't tell you, Ace. I didn't say. You did. I heard. I, I heard you. And you kind of see like him like raise a, a head to his hand, like a, a hand to his head, like looking confused. I. I forgot. And then, like, something in his expression clears. It's been... You know, it's been really good catching up. I think I need some time to digest this. I've got an, I've got an awful migraine. What? What were we talking about? Jessica. How I died. Right. Go lay down, Ace. I think... I think I had seen her before. So, where did you see her? He, like, kind of looks around, like, confused for a moment. And then, like, he he has a hand on his belt, and he kind of shifts it as if looking for his axe, which he left inside. And he has, like, he reaches out a hand, like, beside him to, like, kind of make sure you're there. As when we're not alone. 
we're we're not alone. We should We need to get inside. Can I cast a spell? Yeah. Um I'm gonna cast Detect Thoughts. Yeah. And I'm gonna extend it for sixty feet around me. Mm -hmm. To vibe check all creatures around me. Like I can't see their thoughts, but I can detect their thought patterns. Oh my god. <laughs> and we lost him. No! <laughs> he never charges his phone! This fucking guy. Hello? Oh my god. I on my computer. Yeah, I can tell because I can barely fucking hear you. Hold on, let me let me get oh, fuck. Hold uh, on. Let me plug my phone in and I'll put it on speakerphone. Okay. Hold on. To be clear, Savior, because I had the thought in the moment, this is not your this is not the thing that is a, a triggering topic. I realize now that it might seem in this moment similar to that, but it is not that. No, I, I didn't think it was that. That didn't occur to me, actually. Okay, okay. I just wanted to be clear. It's okay. I apologize. Yeah, I had I had that thought in the moment. I was like, oh, I need to be clear that it is not that. <laughs> no, it's okay. It, it seems like uh, it's different mm -hmm. than that. Can you, can you hear me okay right now? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. If the problems happen again, I will switch to my phone on speakerphone. But okay. for now, because my phone's still not back on. But uh, last I heard was you were casting Detect Thoughts. Continue. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to cast Detect Thoughts. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm using it to detect the presence of thinking creatures I can't see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it can penetrate barriers. Uh Two feet of rock, two inches of metal or lead will block me. Yeah. And I can't detect a creature uh, of an intelligence of three or lower. You guys were kind of like walking around the path around Armoth, uh, like just inside the walls. Just yeah. kind of circling while chatting. So on the edges of uh, your, your little bubble, uh, you can like pick up some of the townspeople. You can pick up like one of the guards up on, up on the wall. Uh, you can pick a pace. Vaguely, you can sense yourself. And there's somebody standing at Hayes' shoulder. What the fuck? Can I read the thoughts? Uh, Roll a wisdom saving throw. Oh, goody. <laughs> uh, because for the duration, which is one minute, yeah. I can yeah. read... A creature detected in this way's thoughts. Yeah, Wisdom you can save? the surface thoughts. Yes. That's a... 16. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. You try to turn your thoughts onto this being. And you catch them for only a moment. You catch something with its hand on Esmond's, like, forearm. Esmond, God, fuck me. On Hayes' forearm. You can catch the very, like, so quiet it is literally silent muttering of a spell being cast on Hayes actively. What are they doing fucking? And the creature... The being, the something, senses you touching on its surface thoughts and is instantly pulling away. But in that second, you are able to tell that they were, uh... Fuck, I'm blanking on the spell. Um, modify memory? Yeah, modify memory. They were casting modify memory. Um, and you sense this person, like, kind of jerk away. Uh... And there is a searing pain in the back of your brain. Something burning and bright 
that makes your eyes hurt in a way you've never experienced. And it feels like it's going to scorch away your very soul, and then it is gone in a heartbeat. And your detects up thoughts no longer senses anyone but you and Hayes right here. And Hayes kind of like stumbles for a moment and like holds his head. What? What? That's as es Esmond. And he like jerks his hand away from his head and like frantically immediately sees you and like grabs a, a hand onto your forearm. There was something here. Uh, we need to. Yeah, we need to get out of here. I <laughs> fucking know. Jesus fucking Christ! Oh, I what? Know what that is? Uh, yeah, it's gone. I think. What? <sighs> I'm. You were. You were yelling at me about something. I. You don't remember me yelling at you. No, I'm. I. I said something about a gun? A... You... I, I don't know why I said that. The, the Desico we were discussing, do you? D yeah, yeah, I, I, I remember that. Do you remember her? The Desico? No, I haven't met her before. But you know she's a woman. Yeah. Why did you and know she was a woman? I think that I can... I think I can picture her in my... I, f I don't think I've met... I don't remember meeting her before, but I've... I think I have. Yeah, right, right. Um, sorry I yelled at you. No, no, it's something. Uh, it's just I, a lot of things aren't making sense right now. I, he puts like a hand on his forehead again. I th think. Esmond, I think I've seen her a couple times. I, don't know I think. No, I think I was chasing her. Why? Were you chasing her? I think... I think I was chasing her. Ned. <laughs> 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 I think... She's dangerous she was trying to do something bad and somebody told me to hunt her down who told you to hunt her down Hayes I don't remember all I remember is this bright light and it it hurts a bit to think about um it was really bright I think. I don't know. Okay. I don't think I was wandering around doing nothing these past few months. Yeah. I think I was. I don't know. I sort of gathered that. Oh. reunion I'm I'm sorry no 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 you know what they say about trouble bonding brings people together if if I brought something on your doorstep that's dangerous I I, I don't want to put you in further danger I don't really care You you have a son to worry about now. I've had a son to worry about for the last six years. I 
I'm I'm aware that I have a son, Hayes. Hayes looks very confused for a moment, and then like kind of puts his hand to his head again. Right. What? Six, six years, right. What? I don't know, I, I just thought it had been longer. I don't know. How old are you? I'm... He, like, looks so sure for a moment and then, like, kind of stops. Uh... I remember Dad... giving me a cake. <laughs> he said I'm halfway to being an old man. I, I don't know. Halfway to being an old man. What does he consider old? I don't know. <laughs> Just Ned. What does that mean? Halfway to being an old man? Hmm. When I'll say this, roll history. Okay. Oh wow, I'm getting really good rolls today. Pop off. Uh, history? That's... Dirty 19. Hell yeah. Whenever you asked your dad how old he was, uh, he'd joke uh, that he wasn't an old man yet, because he hadn't turned 50 yet. He would give you specifically how old he was, but he'd always joke he wasn't an old man yet, because he wasn't 50. Almost halfway to an old man. So, 20-something. Yeah, as far as you know, Hayes should be 21. Yeah, so that's probably fine. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Do you know how old I am? Uh... Are you should be... He seems to, like, count on his fingers for a moment. <laughs> like, 29? Let me see your teeth! <laughs> <laughs> My brother be, can do math, I taught him! Be nice to this Goliath barbarian. <laughs> hey, so I'm... I'm 20... 24. What? I'm 24. Why did I... I could have sworn you were older than well, that. Why did I? No, my dad should be 25 now. Yikes. I missed your birthday. I missed it too. Don't worry about it. I could have sworn you were... Why did I... Must be, must be losing track of the years. Well, I mean, there was a little creature on your shoulder that. casting memory modifying spells on it, so you know it's probably what. Yeah. What? We'll figure it out. Uh, Havoc has a few arcane inclined individuals. Uh, they might be able to do something about that, and we'll see her later. Right. I'm... I don't remember anything like this ever happening before. Any confusion with dates or things that have happened or... I don't... Well, you know, has, I, has I, this I, ever happened? I, I have always, so maybe it just runs in the family. <laughs> to this degree? Uh, who knows? I'm... It's been a long day. It has. I would love to meet your son. 
and then maybe sleep, and then maybe we can talk to Havoc sure. about maybe getting rid of whatever this is. Yeah, let's let's do that. Go ahead, come on. All right. And as as you guys like, he puts like an arm around your shoulder, uh, and you guys head back into the main part of our ma to go find Powell. And we'll end there.